what is up everyone welcome to the channel if you're new hit that subscribe button got another uh city pop record for you guys this one is by tatsura yamashita called sparkle so let's get to it <laughs> got like the uh game boy color graphics Ooh, that bass line. Yep, 70s, 80s. Yep. Hey. around the world got me. Hey. Hey. Baseline, man. Aura was engulfed in a strange radiance of joy. I like that. They was jamming. Yep, that's that 70s, 80s uh, sound. Man. The song that made me fall in love with Tatsudo's music ever since. Perhaps it's odd to confide like this, but I always imagine this song as a song I reflect on in my old age or listen to near death. Given I have the chance, life has been an unusual experience and of course reflect the beauty and the good and the bad. 
I like how you use the Animal Crossing dialogue font, or at least a similar one for the English subs, and now in the newest game, K.K. Slider sings a song that seems to be inspired by Sparkle. Hmm. Thank you, Sparkle has been a very important song to me for many years, and having this understanding makes it all the more special. Tatsudo is so underrated. Yes. Found out about him last year from Big Wave album. Didn't know he collaborated with MF Doom. Wow. MF Doom, if you don't know, he's he's uh well he was one of the biggest underground rap artists. He passed away I think a year or two ago. And he was famous for uh wearing this mask on stage and sometimes he would have stand ins performing as if they were him too sometimes. Nah, man, he's literally the god of city pop. It's just Japan's conservative as fuck recording industry that does not let Tatsu's song to be spread freely on internet's media. In a recent interview, Tatsuro stated that he does not want his songs on streaming services, which sucks. I think it was something about being live music being better or something. I mean, that's understandable, and you don't get paid a lot from streaming services really like that either. You know, you get paid pennies on a dollar. So that's understandable, but yeah, here is seeing he is seeing this live man. It'll be a, a, a completely different experience because artists from that era, they really, uh, uh, most of them were really musicians. They knew multiple instruments. They knew how to play it. Knew how to play them too. You know, a lot of those artists and groups they had live bands most of the time. So it was a different experience back then entirely. You know. A lot of the music today is automated. So, I can understand him feeling like that. Thank you for your translation. Never found a good one online until now. Good job. Yeah. Can't explain, but the production, his songs is super clear and crisp that it sounds eerily modern. Like someone could say it was recorded today and not believe them is strange, but the good kind of really makes me believe songs like time. Yeah, that's because. The, the way that music is recorded recorded now versus back then is different. It's different. And music, to me, music back then had more feeling in it. But shout out to Ishu for uh, putting the lyrics to this. And shout out to Tatsuda Yamashita for creating this song. This was dope. And shout out to the person that recommended um, me to react to this record too. So... But that's going to pretty much do it for my reaction as always. I appreciate you all for tuning in. Before you go, be sure to drop a like and a comment below. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And until the next one, peace.